wanted to make a quick little video in response to another YouTube creator on using the autofill, or rather the color drop option in Procreate on the iPad. I came across her video, as you see here, uh, using a technique that worked well, but I suggested it might be a faster and easier way of doing it using the color drop method. What she did was she traced the diagram that she needed for a class, and then using the selection tool, traced around that uh, portion of her diagram. Then went up to the recolor, picked a color, and colored in the, in the object, and then went in and, and kind of touched up some uh, areas, that, as you saw there. She did the exact same thing uh, for the next part of her video, and continued on through her diagram until it ended something like this. So I wanted to demonstrate a quicker and easier way of doing the exact same thing, and that's by uh, making a shape on your canvas, as I'm doing here with a circle brush tool going up and selecting my color and simply tapping the little red uh, color icon at the top and dragging it on the shape where it automatically fills the shape. Now I'm going to demonstrate again with another shape without the double. Go back up, select another color, tap the swatch, drag, and drop it onto the new shape and it automatically fills it. And even if you have a colored outline you can do the exact same thing. So I'm going to use my uh, quick menu and clear that layer. Select my color and my circle brush again. Put down a circle and overlap a few circles to show you how this works in a more, more complicated diagram. So in the layer menu I'm going to tap the layer icon and check reference in the flyout menu. So I want to demonstrate what a reference layer actually does and how it can make this whole process a lot easier by keeping your line art separate from your colors in the event you ever need to modify your line art or you want to modify the colors underneath. So I'm changing the name just so that I can quickly reference that it is the line art layer. Now when I drag it down, the color down, after I make a new layer, it will still use that shape to contain the color even though it's not on the same layer. That's what the reference layer does. And so just as a demonstration, I'm going to fill each one of these in. However, when I blow it up, you'll see that I've got the jaggy edges. So the way around that is to go back up to your Layers menu. Click and hold on the line art and pull it up over the top. And as you can see, your line art has been restored. It's nice and clean, and you have the colors underneath. I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer. Just to demonstrate another te technique, I've, I've sped this up a little bit. But I'm creating a layer for each color. As you see, as I drop the color, I go up, I create another layer, drop the color, go up and create another layer. So now you have shapes or colors that can be manipulated separately, edited or, or anything else that may have uh, ordinarily been overlapped and able to do so previously. So I hope that helped and it wasn't overly convoluted. But uh, have a great one and long live the duodenum. <laughs>